Hi everyone, I'm so excited today I'm going to share you this recipe of making slime at home. I'm sure you all have this if you're a Chinese person, but I'm pretty sure everyone's going to have it. So it's very easy. You'll need some corn flour. That's in Chinese, never mind. Only a little amount, only one fourth cup, so it doesn't really matter. Um, food colouring. You don't have to add it if you just want. And shampoo is very impressive. You have to use shampoo. And try to find those kind of slimy shine shampoo, not those liquid, very liquid ones. Like try to be more still ones. Okay, so I'm going to make two box. So all my ingredients are for one dough. But I'm splitting them into two different because I want to make two colors. So if I'm adding one cup in both ones, you have one cup in one. Okay, so first, where's my ingredient? Ah, there, I get it. So first, put in half a cup of shampoo. Okay, this is very interesting. So, mm, half a cup. So I'm going to add two cup of this. How about I just grab the half cup? Yeah, that can be easier. But I'm gonna split into two cup two things. Okay, so we're gonna add half a cup of shampoo. Let's go. Ugh, this is gonna be disgusting. It's greenish. Ugh. How long is it gonna take? Nearly there. Ugh, ugh. That'd be enough. One that's one fourth cup. I need one more cup. Just put it into your container. And it has a good one. It smells actually quite good, you know. I'm make, making half of a dough for each colour. So you can just make one dough for a colour, but I'm making two cups. So I got half a cup of shampoo here. Oh, I need a tissue paper. Oh, here it is. Tissue paper. I know it's gonna look like. It. Okay, let's put this cup on this tissue. Next step, we're gonna add one fourth cup of corn flour. Okay, I'm gonna put this in that. Not a good idea. Do I have one eighth cup? I don't think so. Just go for it. I'm gonna wash this first. While I dry this, I'm just saying, if you don't have a cup, it doesn't matter if, like, if you're Chinese. Um, just add 60 ml of shampoo in there. Okay, I am just drying this because flour ain't going to stick on this thing forever. So, I'm going to add about halfway. Not halfway, like, you guys are going to add completely, so. Not coming out. Kind of is. These things are very hot to get out. Keep going. It's not a good idea. Hold it in, it's windy. <laughs> Nearly there. <laughs> oh, here. Let's just shake that. And I think that's... Ooh, no. My legs. Now I'm going to add about half in here so let's let me draw a line here yeah we really mind you guys just gonna put whole cup just making sure you understand me i'm making half of a doll of one color and half of a doll another color but you guys can just make one doll of a color Okay, let's add half of this in. A little... Ah, dang it. Let's get some of them out. Hmm, not enough. Dang it, this is not good news. I think that's enough. Ugh. Why is this getting everywhere? Okay. Now, let's mix them with some sort of stuff. I'm just going to use the end of a chopstick because I don't feel like eating with the, the this chopstick. So I'm using the end of it. Let's ugh, mix them. Go down there. 
It's like snowing in here. Oh, let's mix them. Look at that. Greenish slimy things. Oh, if you have green shampoo, you don't even have to dye it. Like, it's just green. Mine is green, so, huh. I'm not sure how's it gonna go. Just saying. <laughs> Wait, did I add one more black up? I think I did, did I? Oh, never mind. I think it's enough anyway. So let's mix this in. It's kind of hard because my container is a bit big. So. It's going to bubble with <laughs> shampoo. Oh. Okay. Mix. Now, next one. I feel like this one's gonna end up better. Somehow, I just do feel like the, the yellow one. Mix, mixed. I do really feel like this one's gonna end up better. I feel like this one's not as slimy as the other one, so. Mm. This is very slimy. I do think we need to add a bit more corn flour in here. Look at this. Check out that. Just mixing on the side so I actually mix well. Now, next step, add three drops of crude colouring. I feel like I'm just gonna keep one grain. Never mind, I'll just add food colour. So I got blue here, kinda my favourite colour. Put this thing in. Doesn't drip, does it? No, it doesn't. Drip, no. It's really hard to pour this thing, so. Ugh, I think that's awfully enough. It's blue. Okay, let's get the pink now. Pink is a very important colour even though I don't really like it. So that's why we brought those two colours. Okay. Get that. Ugh! That's way too much. But never mind, I can't get that out, so just deal with it. Okay, end up with a strong colour. Now let's mix them. Ah dang it. This thingy, I should have taken it out earlier. I'm gonna take the pink one out. Yeah. Look at that! Blue! Doesn't that look good? I actually like purple quite well. I actually also like purple, but there was no purple colour there, so... It's turning greenish, greenish blue now. <laughs> Check out for that. Okay. This is gonna deal for now. Lock. Blue slime. Other side. Look at the pink, it's like blood right now. Ooh. And I'm not sure green and pink is gonna end well, but I add a bit too much on the pink side, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna cover up the green. What about? Gonna bring that down for a second. It's actually not going to end up bad. 
the same, even though it's look kind of really slim you know, at this point. It's like I'm in the shower right now. <laughs> Very strong shampoo smiles. Now, now what I have to do is we're gonna mix this for five minutes. Okay, let's start. Nineteen, one, go. I'm not sure how I'm gonna end with my arms doing this. My chopsticks in the pink, so I'm just gonna show you the pink one, yeah? I'm gonna show you that. Move the camera down. This worked. Paper. <laughs> mix, mix. If you can see that. Yes, you can. Mix, mix. It's like you're mixing an egg. That's exactly the feeling. What's the time? Okay. Let me check out the time. It's 12 12 right now. Keep mixing the pink one. How many have it gone by? Um, there. Everything just sliding down. See where the pink are. And meet you in five minutes. Now it's been five minutes, and if you, if you're, and well, yes. Well, up to this point, you can just add slowly add any kind of flour that you feel like, but try not to be all-purpose flour or high grain or like cake flour. Try to be like these flowers like this the normal ones wait let me just check out what they called i think they start with a tea well yes like the thinner flour but if you don't have them just add normal flour slowly add them in add a little and start mixing Now I have only been adding flour and I just starting adding this high grain flour. Doesn't really matter now. And it's really very unsticky. So we're gonna add a bit of water in. Well, yes, you do have to add water in no matter what it's like with your slime. And then we're gonna add a little salt. I'm about a tea just less than a ta tablespoon like kind of like two third of a tablespoon and mix that in it's gonna be bubbly oh, look at that bubbles i'm just gonna do this this way It's getting a little hot. So I hope yours is not as hot as mine before you add some water. So you do have to add some flour in and then you can add some water. It's got some soapy water on my hands. Nearly there. Just a bit more mixing going on. It's still s staying quite hard, so I may just add a little bit more water when I mix this in properly. Oh, it's not sliding down when I go to this way. It's rather cool right now. Let's see? Now it's not as hard as before. And that's more the feeling we want. 
Okay, I think I just may add a little, little bit more water. Not enough. Like a tablespoon, that was. It's really up to your eyes. You don't have to really measure it. But just at the beginning, you have to measure your shampoo and the flour that you're adding in. Because everyone's shampoo may be different. And they are not the same thickness. And... Even if you use the thickest, thickest shampoo, you still have to add that much flour. So that's the base, and then you can just add however you need it. Okay, so I'm up to this stage. You can kind of see it. I can't really say it, how slimy it is. And now we're adding some of this. It's like firm hold. You can use any brand, doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm just going to add a bit of that. No measurings, just a bit at a time. Yeah, that will be for now. Please don't use hairspray because they are liquid and we want some still things. Now a bit more, and I'm sure I'm going to add some flour here, so I'm just going to grab it with my hand, which is not a good idea, never mind, doesn't really matter. Now mix everything in. Oh, the glue makes this smell so good, not glue, like the heat firm hold, because it's for your hair and it's supposed to smell good. Oh, I like the smell, I just do. Okay, so see now it's kind of stretchy, we're just going to add a bit more of this and then we're going to start just adding, ugh, that's not going down, and we'll start adding flour, so just a bit more of this, because glue, quite important, but this video is for no glue slime, so we're using this instead. But if you have glue, feel free to change this into glue. Look at this. Slimy. And that's, the glue actually makes it kind of slimier. So, that's more we want. Now, start adding flour. This is actually making it stretch a bit more. And in the midway, if you want to add more firm hold, feel free to. I'm going to put this to the side. Starting at, start to add flour. I think that's a bit too much. Never mind. I can add more shampoo all the time. Doesn't matter. Let's put this lid here. I actually kind of like this box because, like, I put the flour up there. And whenever I need it, I just tap the box and it's gonna like some flowers just gonna shut it down. It's kind of cool. Ha! Huh. See, it's like raining and it's coming down. Oh, actually, I actually don't think that's enough, so. I like the smell. It's kind of mixed between shampoo and the firm hold. I like the firm hold smells, but the shampoo is okay and the mix of them is just incredible. Let's see, does it stick to my finger? Still a little. Let's go put that there. Doesn't matter. So I'm just going to add a bit more flour in here. Maybe not too much. Look at my fans. Okay, let's make this mix this in. And I may just add a bit more salt in here. So it actually kinda makes it like together.
see this actually going back to how thick it was before but it's still stretchy and that's the use of the firm hold now it's only a little little sticky to my hands so i might just clean this container and that may be enough no i don't think it's gonna be enough but still i'm just gonna do this so it doesn't get anywhere that's really what i want oh look at that stretchy hmm. the smaller one Feel free to add glitter if you wish. I'm just gonna keep it plain for now. Oh, I already colored it, so yeah, don't really mind. Add a bit more flour, not too much. I'm not gonna end well that way. Clean my hands every time. Just gonna put all of these two together and keep mixing. And if you see like it's starting to not slime anymore and don't just start adding the firm hold mix them properly and then see because sometimes it's a flower which is stopping the stick sticky because you're not mixing it well so mix it well and then see that it still sticks if you don't add more firm hold See, this is still sticking. But I mean, stretchy. Ugh. It's almost still kind of this way, so I'm just going to add a bit more salt. So, if you see adding flowers not helping it staying together, add salt. If you see it's not stretching, add firm hold. If you see it's too watery, add flour. That's how easy it is. Um, if it's way too dry, add water. But if you feel like adding shampoo somehow, maybe go for it. But I suggest you add water instead of more shampoo. Maybe after this round of flour, or maybe one more, it's gonna end fine. So, drying the mix is kinda not sticking, but after the mix, it's gonna end up better. I'm just gonna do it this way now. And just keep doing that until you get to a thickness and stretchiness that you like. It's actually not too long when I reach to this stage. I put my finger on, it doesn't really stick. It still do a little bit, but it's, if you get whatever I mean. <laughs> so if you stick your finger into the thing, it will stick, but if you put it on the surface, it will not. So, on this stage, we just want to get everything together and then try again because sometimes some part of it is kind of harder than the others. So if you mix, mix all of them together and it's still kind of too soft, then you can add a little bit of flour because my stage is not sticky really anymore. And what I just find out through this thing is... It's kind of like trying style, but succeed. So um, you have to add half of these kind of flowers and half of any flower that you choose. But it's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's basically how it goes. But if you're gluten-free and you get gluten-free flour, that's not going to end well because gluten is actually helping this. So, yeah, just think of it. Oh, look at that, it's still stretchy. 
that's what we want. So I'm just going to tidy up this and show you guys what it ended up like. Now I've just get this out of the box and put some flour on the table so it doesn't stick. And I just realized it doesn't really stick anymore. I look at my hands, it's from before. So I'm rubbing it to the table. So, and look at this. It's going to magically clean the table. <laughs> Make sure your table doesn't have any other stuff, otherwise it's going to bring up slime. And see that it's stretch or not. Ooh, this does stretch. And that's the feeling you want. So, follow this recipe and I'm sure you have everything you have. But if you don't have firm hold, oh, I don't have firm hold. Then my resolution is, just going to do chopsticks. You can add more, more salt or just a bit of glue. And just any glue will be good. And any glue will be fine. If you still don't have them, then this is kind of harder now. I'm sure you have glue sticks. And just cut a bit of glue sticks and add some water, mix them really well. Or, or if you have some waste, like heating or something, mix it really well. And that will do as glue. Not too much water, just a bit. And this is my slime. Now I'm just going to show you exactly how I've gone through this with the other one. So, here's a blue one. I add some flour in. Now I'm just going to mix it. It's complete at the beginning. Like completely. And now I'm just mixing a little bit extra flour in to the, to the mixture. These guys. Or you can just use this one, but mix of those two is the best. Now, I'm just going to add a bit of water right at the beginning. So this is how you're going to do it. Extra flour, if you need them, need them. And then water. It's going to make it bubbly. Look at that bubbles. I can't really show you. But you know what I mean, if you try it out yourself. Mix it really well. Now I'll add flour. Add a little each time because I know, I know you know and I know. <laughs> we need quite a bit. But just add a little each time. Now add salt, mix them. And I'll just add the firm hold at the beginning. Or glue or glue stick mixed or whatever you're using. In first, so they're easier to mix together. So now more flour. Just a bit each time. Now mix, mix, mix. So we need more salt, but just a moment. The yes, it is actually quite quickly becoming together. See, they're staying in bundle now. For the pink one, I actually add a lot of flour and actually extra shampoo because I'm just checking and working them out. So mix, then a little bit more flour. About mm, how am I gonna say that? Like three tablespoons every time. I'm just using like slightly lesser than half of a grab. Does that make any sense? Mm, still soupy right now. So add salt. I'm just gonna finish all the salt. Oh, 
just like this now. This is actually one of the easiest way. You don't have to measure them. Just add whatever, like shampoo, then flour, salt, firm hold, water. And that's it. Check out later. Just keep adding these things. Look at this. It's gonna keep doing this for a while. It's like mixing egg. Just gonna mix all the things together very well. mix all the ingredients in and check out for this oh isn't that slime so after this thing I actually what I think of slime is more of a dough just a normal dough but with more stretchiness but not sticking to your hands. That's basically what it is. And yeah, that's the video for today. And if you think, oh, mine is not stretching enough, it's breaking in the halfway, then what you can do is, I'm just gonna do it, which is harder. Boy, okay. So you can do this. So open your dough wide. Add a bit of glue or whatever you're using inside. Fold it in and start pulling and fold. Pull and fold. Do that. Or you can do it like how you mix the dough normally. It's gonna stick to you. It's really sticky. But check out for a little moment later. So it's not gonna stick anymore. Please don't use super glue or hot glue because it's gonna just not work. Like normal school liquid glue. Gonna stick to the side, it's in your way. Come on, stay there. And see how it was super sticky and now it's way better. And I just Get everything on my hands down there. Oh. Check out for this. Oh, it's like a snail. <laughs> I like snails. You need it in my mom. All the snails in our gardens, and we had enough. Okay, just getting these crumbs down will help a lot with our hands. And to check out how sticky they are actually. So I'm just gonna move that back there. Let's move further back so you guys can see. See, it's not sticking. Oh my god, magical. And that is actually making it softer. And I'm sure it's more stretchy, but it was stretchy anyway. So yeah. Let me just pull it this way. Don't do this, please. It's not gonna work like that. Of course, everything's gonna break. <laughs> really, the point of slime is that you stretch it and fold it back. Stretch it and fold it back. Stretch and fold. Yep. Just gonna play a little pink one for a bit now. Stretch and fold. Stretch and fold. And remember, if you want to keep this for quite a while. Oh, that was long. We have to put it in the fridge because this is actually dark and it's gonna be moldy. It's not gonna live as long as you do. <laughs> so yeah, this is one way of making the slime and that I'm sharing it with you. And I wish you have fun with these slimes and check out for my new videos. See you next time.